I remember my first year of climbing. I made some mistakes. Mistakes that could have thwarted my entire progress. If you're making out of these, then you too may be limited in your progress. Hi, I'm Sarah from Send Edition and welcome to 3 Minute Thursday. In today's video, we are talking about three top mistakes I made in my first year of climbing and what you can do to fix them. In the fashion of 3 Minute Thursday, let's put time on the clock and get started. Mistake number one is that I had poor skin hygiene. And if you've been climbing for more than a week, you may understand this perfectly, where you are getting flappers all the time, your hands hurt, where even just touching the steering wheel driving home is a pain. So to prevent this mistake, what you're going to want to do is sand down your calluses that way you don't have any chunks of skin that could get hot on a hold and cause those flappers. And then you're also going to want to make sure, wash your hands out and get all the chalk off as soon as you're done climbing and then add some sort of lotion. You can use basic lotion like Burt's Bees or you can use a skin repair. I enjoy the Rhino Skin Repair is an amazing product. It just helps jumpstart your skin's ability to heal itself. That way you can climb more without the pain in your fingers. And trust me, the more you climb, the more your hands will get used to the feeling of the hold and the less likely you're going to have issues with your hands. And if you want to know more about hand care, what to do if you get a flapper and things like that, I'll include a card at the end of this video so you can watch that next. Mistake number two was I was focusing too much on climbing hard route. I started as a V0 climber and within a couple of days, I was trying to climb V2. The problem was I hadn't even finished one V1. This isn't to say you shouldn't try hard climbs, but I wish I had focused more on volume and climbing as much as I could instead of spending an entire climbing session working on one climb that was well above my skill level. Now, the more experience you get in climbing, the more often you'll do things like that where you'll spend an entire climbing session projecting. But as a beginner, getting the the volume down is going to help a lot more. It's going to teach your body movement so it's much easier for you to take up technique and it's also going to help your skin toughen up so you're able to handle more climbing on a more regular basis. Mistake number three is I wish I had included more structure in my climbing session and there's two parts to this. First, I would just go to the gym, climb as often as I could until I got flappers usually, and then go home. During the first couple of weeks of climbing, it's great just to climb as many problems as you can, but after a couple of weeks, it's a good idea to also start including drills, things like quiet feet or flagging drills, ones that I've talked about quite a bit on this channel. And the value of doing these kind of drills is going to help you so that you can learn the technique and the movement that will help you climb harder routes. The second part to this is I wasn't getting enough rest days or I had too many rest days. For example, I would climb four days in a row to the point where I could hardly use my forearms and my pecs to move. I was just in the crouched out ball all day. And then I wouldn't climb for two weeks because I didn't want to experience that ball again. It would have been better if I had structured rest days. Climb one day, rest one day. Climb one day, rest one day. And if I felt like I needed a second rest day, take a second rest day. But then climb on the next day instead of taking two weeks off. Once you overcome these mistakes, you're going to start seeing your progress go up much faster and it's going to help you, especially in your first year of climbing. So take it from me, avoid these mistakes and see your progress improve. For this week's shout out, it is a comment on my video, three symptoms of poor footwork and how to remedy it. It's from Ross Potts and he comments a lot on my videos. He wrote, I'm a big fan of traversing. I swear if I don't do it at least semi-weekly, I start getting shaky legs. I'm going to try that squishing bugs thing. I'm excited for you to try the squishing bugs drill. It does help improve your confidence with those footholds. Let me know what you think and I look forward to hearing from you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm making videos like this every Thursday and then I also do videos on Monday that are a little bit longer form, more in depth into this kind of work. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your climbing. So, and in two, and in three minute Thursday fashion, let's get it. And with three minute, and in, and, and in the fashion of three minutes Thursday, let's put time on the clock and get started.